Hey, Phoebe. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm good now. Uh, I'm thrilled that I get a chance uh, to talk to you because you are the woman of the moment. This is a huge yeah. deal. So, uh, I mean, just first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's been a surreal few weeks. Yeah, it's so fascinating because Bridgerton came out, was it three, four weeks ago? It just came out. Yeah. So exactly, pretty much exactly four weeks ago, it came out on Christmas Day. Okay, so this is what I experienced. Yeah. It came out Christmas Day. About two days later, everybody I know was texting me and saying, have you seen Bridgerton? And I said- Oh, it was two days. Two days, two days, <laughs> everybody. And then, uh, uh, you know, I said, I'm going to watch it. Give me a second. Um, I hear doctors are like leaving mid-operation to go watch Bridgerton. Everybody's gone mad for the show. And uh, deservedly so. It's a terrific show, but it's kind of a mania. I don't know what it's like in uh, in Britain, yeah. in the UK, but here in America, people have lost their minds. It's great. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so, and it's so lovely to be part of something that's obviously you know bringing a lot of joy to people's lives in this really crazy time. So it's just it's good to be part of something positive, I guess. Yeah, it's very positive. Uh, everybody looks gorgeous. The costumes are stunning. I think it's a nice, yeah. <clears throat> and, and there's so much about it too that I think is fascinating. Uh, one of the things I'm curious about is people talk today about dating and how difficult it is with the apps, with the social apps, and what a weird yeah. experience it is. And I'm curious if you almost, do you prefer, I mean, obviously there's a lot of downsides, but are there things that you prefer about the way they were doing it in the 19th century? I mean, you know, as yeah, I mean, yeah, I think the problem today is that there is no social etiquette. So you can ghost someone and just sort of blank them completely. And there's no, you know, there's no repercussions to that. So right. that's something you have to deal with. And also, you know, if, if someone was into you in those days, they would come around and, and bring you a big bouquet of flowers. It was pretty much as simple as that. So you knew where you stood with people. I think that's the, that was the benefit of being a woman back in those days. Obviously, that's probably the only, <laughs> only benefit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, not many people were saying early 19th century, great time to be a woman. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. but yes, people had to put in an effort. They had to put in an effort and... Now it's just someone can um, like something that you wrote or they can send you an emoji and you think, wait a yeah. minute, back then you had to ride, you know, 80 miles through a bog to deliver some roses. It feels like a guy had to work for it back then. They did. Yeah, they did. Um, but I think, you know, I think there's, uh, there's a pluses and negatives, isn't there? Because also, if I'm not interested, you know, if I, there's a Nigel Burbrook, of today, mm -hmm. I don't have to pander. I can just say, no, I'm good, thank you. Yes, <laughs> that's true. I you... don't even have to say thank you. I no, can just you... say, <laughs> You don't even have to say anything. You just yeah. don't, you just turn off your phone for a week. <laughs> exactly. And maybe he gets the message. Uh, yeah. Um, I know I, I like that, I like that a lot.